Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we are going to trailer the mule, and I thought I would share with you how I get this thing loaded up and tied down to the trailer, as well as some of the unique features that this haul ride trailer offers for us loading the mule. And, in the future videos, I think we're going to have some awesome trail riding that you guys are going to enjoy, and that's why we're preparing for this road trip. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope some of this information helps you. Thanks for watching. They said the weather is going to be perfect for us today. And I am looking forward to an awesome trail ride for you guys. Let's let this thing warm up a little bit. Like I gotta lift it up a little bit. It is gorgeous out here this morning. There we go. Double checked. Make sure it's seated up. I definitely don't want this thing popping loose out in traffic. Now we'll check that again after we load the mule up. One unique thing they done with this trailer, now this is a seven, seven and a half foot wide by 12 foot trailer. Uh, so our gate, just pop these pins out. And this is one of our ramps. here is one of our ramps so if I wanted to load a four-wheeler straight onto the back and one up here on the front you can use the ramps on the end or the side of the trailer here that makes this nice Hill, it takes up pretty much the entirety of the trailer we'll have a little bit of extra room but it works out pretty good Great way to store your ramps. And easy way to get it loaded up. Now another thing about this trailer is they put this axle just about four feet off the back of the uh, rear of the trailer. Now when you get the mule loaded up, the engine and everything is setting over the back wheels. So that actually shifts the weight to the axle of the trailer and just enough tongue weight onto the uh, pickup truck in order to keep this thing from trying to side to side down the road on uh, you. They, they thought this trailer through. It, it really works well. Something else I do too after I'm loaded up is I will check and make sure that the mule didn't grab a couple of rocks into the treads of the tire and bring it up and dump it off on the trailer. I don't want that going through somebody's windshield. I definitely try to get as square as I can with the trailer. And 
and you have to keep in mind we're loading a small vehicle here. I mean this this uh let me scoot down the hill a little bit. This mule is heavy and wide and long. Bring it down the hill just a little bit. Done. Yep, both tires are square. I could have afforded to be over this way just a little bit more, but we're sitting pretty center. Now, another thing, too, to mention is I do keep the emergency brake applied on the truck itself because. Again, this thing's heavy, and it ha also has a lot of ground force, so as you're pushing against your vehicle, uh, you don't want to do any damage to it if you're on a grade or something like that and really struggling to get the mule to climb up on there for you. That worked out pretty good. Not bad. All right. Let's see, we're centered up. Let's see. Grab this guy first, I guess. We can use every bit of the mule now as storage. As long as we don't surpass the weight of the axles, we'll be fine. Our ramps are secure. Now all we have to do is put some tie downs on the mule and get the rest of your gear in here. And then I will make one final check on the lights. Make sure that everything is working there. Specifically if a trailer has been setting for a while, normally it's a ground issue. Uh, it doesn't ground to the vehicle as well if it's got some rust up and around the uh, tongue of the trailer. But so far so good. Make sure the tires look good both sides. Yeah. Here in the front, I am going to use the winch. As a matter of fact, I'll just let that out. Let's see. Folded the windshield up too quickly, didn't I? Now, if you don't have a winch, there's more than enough places to hook onto this guy to get it tied in here and actually pulling the suspension down helps as well. That kind of keeps it from rocking back and forth on your trailer. And I'm just going to hook right back to the cable. That way I can kind of keep from scarring up my trailer too much. See how it's pulling the suspension down for me? And again, that makes it more stable when we're setting up here. Still a little rocky. Okay. 
Now that's going to hold that, and that really tidied that up nice. The back of the trailer, I am going to try to get my ratchet strap down here as low as I can. Now if my strap does slide, it's going to catch on this hook here. And that should still give me enough to get just a little bit of the suspension down. And that does take some of the bounce out of it. Which makes it ride just a little better. I think this is ready. Let's see if I left anything in the back. No, that's it there. Boy, that's a trailer load. I know that. Uh, the mule is rolling in right at 1,900 pounds. By the time we put a little bit of gear and different things like that in here, uh, it would not take long to match what the axle on the trailer is capable of towing. So you want to be mindful of that too. Uh, you can be probably a little bit heavy, but not, not much. You don't want to be dealing with axle bearings and things like that on, out on the road as well. I think we're loaded up. At this point, I'm going to double check, make sure everything is stable. I do uh, leave it in reverse as far as on the mule and the parking brake is set. Now where we're heading out to, I am required to have a flag and what I'm going to do is just simply bring along a pair of vice grips and vice grip to the back rail. We are heading out to one of Missouri's uh, UTV ATV parks. As a matter of fact you can even ride your pickup truck inside the park as long as you have a helmet and a flag. So we're going to follow the rules. Uh, this is the size of a pickup truck so I think we've got that covered. And again I'll just stick this flag onto the back of the mule once we get down there and what that does is this allows anybody in ravines and different things like that to be able to see the vehicle better so if they're topping up over a hill they may see this orange flag before they see the mule so that's a good idea I don't mind somebody being able to see you get back there on one of the trails that is a one-way trail and not have a place to turn around or something, you might find yourself backing out of there a long ways, which would make for a good video too. Which brings me to the point, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, I know most of you know how to trailer your mule or side by side when you're getting ready to go out riding, but it always does help to make a couple of rounds around it to make sure that you've secured everything. Getting excited to get out and get on the trail, so I don't want to miss something here, right? And in the next handful of videos that we have coming up, I really hope we're going to be able to offer some some great trail riding for you guys. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had this machine there, so we will try it and see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Be careful out there, specifically when you get these things out on the road.